Hi, my name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. In today's video of QuickBooks Training, I'm going to talk to you about some common mistakes that I see when people use their PayPal account and connect it to their QuickBooks. What I'm using for this example is my PayPal account and a QuickBooks Online sample company file that I've created. When you look at the sample company file, you're going to see a bunch of stuff. Most of it's just sample data. We're going to start by looking at my Bank America credit card transactions because that's really where the money comes from for me for this example. I'm going to click on Bank America credit card to the right of my screen on my dashboard. It's going to take me to my credit card transactions that are not yet put away or organized. This is the same as if I were to click on the left menu, the word banking followed by the banking again. It just takes me a list of my transactions. I have my Bank America credit card selected and I'm going to scroll down. I can see that I made a payment of $50. When I click on this line, I can see that it went through PayPal to Score Association. Uh, if you're not familiar with Score, I just pulled up their website. It's score.org. Uh, my local score is seattle.score.org and basically it's, it's just a place for people to go to get education on various topics. Um, so when you scroll down you can kind of see what's coming up. So I bought admission in two classes at $50 each. So maybe I'll see you in one of these classes. But, end of side note, uh, what's happened in my QuickBooks is that I've given $50 to score for the purpose of these classes. What I often see people do is they type in for vendor or customer, they'll type in who they gave the money to. So in this example, I can see from the bank detail that I gave the money to Score Association. And I know I did this for education. So this is what I'll see in a lot of people's QuickBooks. The credit card or the bank, however the money is going out, the money is going to Score for the reason of education. Okay, so the, the person you're paying and the reason you're paying them might differ, but the logic remains the same. And then I see people click on add. So then, you know, and they kind of go through and they organize the rest of their things. If you go to the register, I'm just going to do this. If I go to my Bank America register, I can see that I spent $50, give it to score. That's fine, except for the fact that it's not exactly what happened. So let me show you my PayPal register. This is my PayPal account. Uh, my PayPal should look like your PayPal. To get to here, I just clicked on summary. So I can see recent activity, right? I can see my purchase from score my $50. I'm going to go ahead and click on this where it says activity, including balance and fees. Because I want you to see a slightly different view of this. So now what I can see is that I purchased from Score Association $50. I didn't pay a fee, so $50. And then my balance is $22.26. So this is really important. My balance is $22.26 because that's the amount of money that's in my PayPal bank account. People don't always think about PayPal as being a bank account, but it is. So let me go back to the summary. In the upper left hand corner of my summary, you can see that my available balance is $22. So this is like a checking account. I've got $22 in the bank. When I click on activity, including balance and fees, I want you to see how this the balance changes or doesn't change. So if you kind of go a couple steps down, you can see I purchased $50, my balance is $22. And then I purchased another $50 and the balance is $22. What you're not seeing here is that the money came from somewhere, got deposited into my PayPal, left my PayPal, and went to score. That's the only way my balance can remain $22. Otherwise, I'd go in the negative. If I had a balance of $22 and I spent $50, then my next balance couldn't be $22. I'm going to change this transaction type from balance affecting to say all transactions. Now when I look at to left, um, to the left of my date, I see a little plus sign. I'm going to click on the plus sign, 
and I can see what happened. There was a withdrawal from my credit card of $50. So it went from the money went, this $50 went from my credit card to PayPal, and then it went out of PayPal and over to score. So the way that this should look in QuickBooks is it should say the money went from the credit card to PayPal and from PayPal to score. Right now, it doesn't mean that at all. Right now, it says it went from my credit card directly to score and it skipped PayPal entirely. When I click this drop down to change my register and I say I want to look at my PayPal register, when I go to my PayPal register, I can see my register balance is $22.26, but I don't see that money from score. I don't see the deposit in or the money taken out. When I go to reconcile my PayPal account, I need to be able to log everything that I see right here for all my transactions. I need to log my 50 in and my 50 out. I know for a lot of us, this seems like a lot of extra work. You're basically recording something twice, right? You're recording this $50 going from the credit card to the PayPal and from the PayPal to the person who you spent the money on. The reason you want to do this is to make sure you're not missing any expenses or any revenue. Anytime you have a bank account of any sort, whether it's a credit card or a loan or you know, a deposit account such as a PayPal account or a checking or a savings, you want to be able to reconcile that account and, and verify and confirm that all of your transactions are recorded and there's no transactions that are missing. So let me show you what should have happened. I'm going to go back to my credit card. I'm going to find my expense and I'm just going to delete it. It says it's been downloaded from my bank records. No problem. I'm going to click yes for delete. On the left hand side, I'm going to click on banking and then banking again. And I can see my $50 is back here. If you didn't notice this before, QuickBooks likes to suggest things. Even though for this video and for a previous video I did, I told QuickBooks this $50 is education expense. It doesn't remember that. All it knows is that it wants to suggest uncategorized. I encourage you whenever you see these suggestions just to override them if they're not right. So let's change this. Um, this is going to be a transfer. So I'm transferring from my Bank America credit cards into my PayPal account. And then I'm going to record the transfer. Now I don't have my PayPal account connected to the QuickBooks, so I'm just going to manually enter the expense of where I spend the money out of PayPal and I give it to SCORE for education. If you've never recorded an expense manually, I'll show you how to do that real quick. In the upper left hand corner, you click on the plus sign for the word new. Under the column for the word vendors, you choose expenses. Uh, who did you pay? I paid SCORE. Where did the money come from? The money came from PayPal. Uh, when did this happen? This happened on 4-8. Why did I do this? For education. How much did I spend? $50. I can ignore the rest of this. It's all um, customized for different videos, but it's not relevant for this. In, in your QuickBooks, you may not have stuff like customer and class and permit and all this good stuff, so don't worry about that. Once you have your expense recorded, go ahead and choose save and close. So when I look at my profit and loss, I just want you to see that it only shows up one time. So we'll do this 4, 8 through 420. And I can see I have one $50 expense for education. So even though I recorded the $50 twice, once going from the credit card to the PayPal and once out of the PayPal over to score, I see it here just once. If I look at the balance sheet, Everything should look good there too. So I can see my PayPal account has $22. That matches my PayPal account if I look at it online. And my credit card, well, this is a sample video. I definitely don't owe Bank America $72,000. But theoretically, my credit card would be correct too. Let me know if you have questions on this. I really want to make sure you understand um, how PayPal works and, and how it works when you spend money out of your PayPal and how you need to record it in your QuickBooks. If you have questions about PayPal, about QuickBooks, or ideas for future topics, please don't hesitate to send me an email, shoot a message into the comments box, or book an appointment with me online. My website is gentlefrog.com. I am more than happy to help you and thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.